Hey guys. So as you can see, I have some paintings here with baby powder on them. And this is how I clean my paintings. Um, I let it soak in for a while. And I don't know if you can see or not, but you'll be able to see a few silicone drops here and there, um, like right here. Of course, the sun's shining in here. But I let them set, usually for about an hour or overnight um, to get these the silicone off. So once this has been sitting, um, I sold this painting, so I have to get this done today. Well, cleaned and um, possibly two coats of varnish. <laughs> but I just want to throw some gloves on and I'll show you how I do this. So I can tap it off and set it aside. So, I'm just going to rub it a little bit more to loosen up that baby powder. Everybody does it different. This is just the way that I do it. And I haven't had any problems with um, varnish. However, when I do um, resin, I follow up with an alcohol wipe. And sometimes I'll clean them a couple of times um, to make sure that I have everything off. So as you can see, there was still silicone here. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on. You can use cornstarch if you don't want to use um, baby powder. I buy the baby powder with the cornstarch in it. Some people just clean them with um, Dawn dish soap and run it under the water, under the faucet. I don't do that. This is just the way I do it. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you get the silicone off. So after, I got some tape sticking. <laughs> So after I get that done, then I'll take my brush and I'll be brushing all this off and then I'll follow up with a microfiber cloth to get the rest of it off. Let me just brush this one off and we'll work on a smaller one. We'll get the beast out of the way. <laughs> so now this one has quite a bit of silicone on it. It's just easier when I have more room. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that just one more time. Make sure you get your sides. Yes, it's messy. So after I have that done, then I'm going to grab a microfiber cloth to get the rest off. If you see any powder down in the paint, you can use a toothbrush to get that out. A lot of times I'll shift my powder down. <laughs> My son hates when I do this because he won't come out in the garage. He says it's the cloud of smoke. And I normally wear a mask when I do this, but I can't do that from videoing. So then I just mist it with water and wipe all that off. And you will get some paint on your rag. That's normal. You'll get more if you use alcohol, though. I didn't even look 
let's see if you can see where I'm at. Yep, okay. So that's all there is to it. Let them dry for a few hours before you varnish. Uh, make sure your paint is not wet and tacky. But that's about all there is to it. Um, this was a musical video. It's amazing though because it's like when you clean the powder off it's like oh look how pretty <laughs> then when you varnish it takes it back to where it was when it was wet These were the two twins that I did, and these do have silicone showing. A little bit here, and just a little bit here. So I want to brush those off and do them again. I kind of do an assembly line of paintings when I do these, because if I'm going to do one, I might as well do a bunch. Try not to rub too hard with your brush. It's pretty soft, so. And I'm gonna go ahead and move that powder out of there. These dried pretty. I was very pleased with those. They're just leftover paint. You might want to invest in a better paper towel too when you're doing these so you don't have to go through so many paper towels. I use Viva. They just um, they dry out and you can use them for a long time. But that's all there is to it. That's not it's not hard. I'm gonna set them there. And I think I probably just pulled you guys. Let me just check. This <laughs> my mic is attached to my apron. This was the flip and drag. was done with uh, metallic black, phthalo green, um, I don't remember what blue I used, and purple. And because this has white background, I won't use that paper towel again because I don't want to introduce any color to the white. Always make sure you get your sides too. That's just pretty. So that's all there is to it. Let me do one more. I gotta unhook it for a second. Um. I was looking for some older ones. 
because I like to cure my paintings for at least two weeks, but sometimes you can't when you sell them quick. But this one has quite a bit of silicone in it, especially right in here. So that's about all I put on. And I'm gonna let this one sit. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too. These look familiar. <laughs> If you watch my videos, you'll know you've seen these. I just let them sit um, for at least at least an hour. Um, it gives it the powder a chance to suck up the silicone because if you look at it now. You're not seeing that it's sucking anything up. But see how grainy it's getting in that spot? You can't see it yet either. Well, a little bit. You can see where it's sucking it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one again. You could just um, rub this and just keep doing it um, for a good few minutes, you know. And uh, you could probably get away with that, but I want to make sure I get it all on the first pass so I don't have to go back and figure out how to uh, blend in my varnish because your varnish will bubble around that just like the resin does. But with the varnish, at least you can fill it on the second or third coat. Or if you spray varnish, you probably wouldn't really notice it as much either. But that's all there is to it, guys. So go ahead and grab your paintings and get yourself some cornstarch baby powder, bottle of water, a good brush, and a toothbrush, micro microfiber cloth, and some paper towels, and you are good to go. So on my next video, I'll show you how I varnish. And hopefully I can film that later today. Um, I have to get that big, that big painting. Those first four that I showed you, I have to get those done. So. That I have to wait till the dust settles. <laughs> so I will be filming that. Maybe I'll have to do that in my filming area later tonight with the lights, but you'll get to see how I do it. But thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe below and click on the bell next to the subscribe button and you'll know when I upload my next video. Uh, click like and share and please leave a comment. Um, and you can join me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art. If you like to see the dried paintings, I always post pictures as often as I can. But usually they see them there before you'll see them here. <laughs> um, but everybody have a great day and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.